Hey you guys, welcome to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in the application Adobe Illustrator CS5. I'm going to do a brief tutorial on the pen tool and what it can do and just the basics. Now there's much more this tool can do, but I'm going to show you just the basics. Alright, first and foremost, where is the pen tool? The pen tool is located on the fifth one down on the top left hand corner of your toolbar. So it is right here and the quick uh, action key for that is P. So what you'll do is you can hover over it and there's some there's some tools here that uh, you want to be looking at but we're going to focus on the pen tool right now. So once you have your pen tool selected I'm going to go ahead and change my color to red that way it'll be a little more visible. So the pen tool is a design tool within Illustrator that will allow you to draw unique and different shapes. So I'm going to show you the first thing you can do. All right, the first thing you can do is you can draw anchor point by clicking and then clicking again. Now that makes it a straight line. Now what you do next is what make the, makes the pen tool unique. It doesn't just end there. Once you have these two open anchor points, is what they're called, you got an anchor point there and you got an anchor point there. If I click again, that's going to draw and it's going to complete right here, okay? That's going to complete the triangle. So if I want to close it, I'll need to click here. But if I want to continue going, see what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and undo that. If I want to close this triangle with the pen tool, I will have to select this open anchor point here that I started at and I will click on it. Now I have a shape that I can grab my selection tool and I can drag this shape over wherever I want it. Now with this being said, what you can do is you can go in here with your direct selection tool, okay, and you can select an anchor point. Once I've got an anchor point selected, I can drag it and I can now edit the shape that I just drew with my pen tool. Okay, so now I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to select the pen tool again and I'm going to show you something else. All right, you may be wondering, well, I want to make some curves and I want to make a, a, a weird circular shape where well, you can do that. All right, click here, click here. Now hold down the mouse key when you click on your second click and drag down. Okay, now look at that. I'm making a curved line. I'm going to let go and that's what I make. Now, what you can do, oops, sorry, what you can do is you can go back and get your direct selection tool, grab hold of the handles, is what I call them, and you can edit the different way that your curve appears. So in this case, the more I drag it up and left, you see the curve goes that way. The more I drag it up and right, the curve goes that way. Down and left, it goes this way, and down and right, it goes down this way. So as soon as you have those uh, their little handles, you can change and edit and rotate that to make any shape you want. I can even go over here and I can drag this like I just told you because it is an anchor point and I can make it whatever I want it to be. So as you see here, the pen tool has so much utility that it's crazy. All right, so I'm done there. All right, I'm going to grab the pen tool again and I'm going to select that open point there, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and undo all that I've done here, okay? So that erases that. Now, here's the last thing I'm going to show you in this beginner tutorial on the pen tool. If I select and click and hold down a line, I can draw out my handles where I want them. I can draw out handles here, and then I can go here and draw out handles. That way I have handles in two different directions. So now I can grab this handle, and then I can grab this handle and I can edit the way that shape looks. So as you see here, I've got two points from which I can grab the handles. And another awesome thing that you can do is you can actually go in and you can remove anchor points and you can add them as well. I will show you that in the next video tutorial on the pen tool. So come back and learn how to do that. But this was just some basics on the pen tool, and this tool can be used to do so many wonderful things within Illustrator that it's just so much fun to be able to play around with the pen tool. So hopefully you found some use out of this video, and this has been another Tech Guru video for you.